guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here, and welcome back to Afterlife, where I live my current life as an enigma in my den of mystery. And yesterday, I was just minding my own business here in my secret hideout when I heard something. <gasps> oh my gosh. Somebody's here. It's Scott. He's going to uncover the mystery. What is he doing here? Why is he dressed like that? Oh my god. It wasn't me. Quick, back in the base. And that's not the only terrible thing that's happened around here lately. I've also been noticing things going missing. Things have been moving around in all of my chests. And there's a distinct smell of cat hair everywhere. So, in order to catch the culprit, I have devised a genius plan. I can use my cloning ability to go invisible. And then... I can catch the intruder in the act. So I strategically positioned myself inside a wall and I waited. One eternity later. The cat burglar was none other than Shelby. The cat. I should have known. But instead of confronting her while she rifled through my barrels, I decided to wait. And while I watched her leave from my little hiding spot inside the wall, I hatched a plan. I think I know what to do about this. A good old fashioned trap. I'll make that cat regret the day they ever stumbled into my secret lair by laying the perfect trap. And I think I'll have a little fun too. But first, the unfun part. Clearing all this gravel. Two hours later. All right, I've done away with all that pesky gravel. Now it's time to lay the trap for the cat burglar. So first, up here, I have engineered a very sophisticated trapdoor. All I need to do is place the final blocks. And now, when that little scamp comes in here and opens my barrels, the trap will activate, sending her plunging down below. So, allow me to demonstrate. Ta-da! Now, obviously, since cats are immune to fall damage, this would only be a minor inconvenience to her. However, strangely, one fun fact about cats is that they can't mine stone. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. But it means that the only thing we have to do to imprison this feline is replace the walls with stone. Yeah, it could not be simpler. Now, little Shubble will be trapped forever. But I'm not going to stop there. Oh no. I have quite the nefarious plan for her. And to carry it out, I'm going to need two things. Skulk sensors and TNT. So, first stop, the orb. Legend has it that the skulk sensors around the orb came right from the very caves below. So all I need to do is go and harvest some for myself. But let's not forget that I can't actually kill mobs. So this is very dangerous for me. Oh, wait a second. I just remembered I have magic powers and I can actually face through walls. <gasps> I can see everything. <gasps> a skulk sensor. Give it to me. Yes. <laughs> I am so powerful. <gasps> ah, gotta be careful though. <laughs> there is a limit to my power. Ooh, sweet mama. Oh gosh, okay. It's actually kind of scary knowing what is on the other side of the cave walls all the time. That was way easier than I thought it would be. And now all we need is some TNT. And word on the street is that this shop over here actually sells gunpowder. <laughs> it's just so easy being a villain these days. Let's see, gunpowder equals one stack of diamonds. Oh, go, oh. Sir Gobbles Gobblington. You wanna go, huh? Ooh. You can also buy pre-crafted TNT. Three diamonds for half a stack. Okay, that is more than enough. Let's take one. And I might be a villain, but I'm not a heathen. Of course I'm going to leave the diamonds. Lest I face the wrath of Sir Gobbles Gobblington. Oh god. Okay, now all I need to do is lovingly arrange the ingredients. That should be enough to kill a cat or anything really. And we cover this up with stone. 
The one block Shelby can't even break. And now we cover this area in skulk sensors. And as you can see, they detect any kind of movement and they get really upset when you break one of them. Which makes them the perfect way to trigger my trap. All I have to do is connect the skulk sensors to the TNT below with this redstone and the trap is set. So here I'm going to just build myself a nice little bomb shelter so I can witness the chaos with a nice view. And now we wait. And sure enough, the cat burglar returned. Well, well, well. I didn't know somebody lived here. I thought it was abandoned. I can return... Actually, this time I didn't, I didn't even take anything, but I can return the thing I took the last time, which is this. I <gasps> well, I'm afraid that won't be an option. You have entered the den of the Enigma, and therefore, you must die. If I were you, I wouldn't move. Below these skulk sensors is a layer of TNT. Once I... Connect the redstone signal. The trap will be activated and you will die. There's no way out for you, Shelby. And now, just like every good supervillain, I'm going to leave before making sure that you actually die in my trap. <laughs> Goodbye, Shelby. Well, I hope that was successful, but it's kind of the number one rule of the supervillain handbook that you're not meant to stick around for their deaths, so there's just no way to know for sure. But I'll just move on to my next evil plan anyway, which I call Operation Roller Coaster. Step one is to hijack the ender rail. Right now, this is just very convenient transportation from spawn all the way over to the orb. But what if at some point the train were to take a deadly detour? Well, that's my plan. So right here, I'm going to divert the track up into the sky. So now we have this crazy track that goes up into the sky and then from the top here, it shoots off and lands on this little loop where they will be stuck with no escape. So all we need to do is cover this with powered rails. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's a lot of powered rails and therefore a lot of gold. But my friend, you forget, I possess the ultimate power for mining. The kind of power server admins fear most. X-ray vision. With this, I'll have all the gold I need in no time. Now I should have all the gold I could ever possibly need and I can craft my powered rails. And now we can divert the track up to these deadly heights. Oh, but I'm not scared because I am the Enigma. Ta-da! And then the minecart will fly off the end onto here where it will become trapped in an endless loop. And they will have to make a decision whether to spend the rest of their life going around and around in a minecart or to jump to their death down below. I suppose all I need to do is test it, make sure it works. Oh, what was that? That was not me. So I moseyed on over to spawn to investigate. And to my surprise, I found two thunder gods having a sleepover. Yeah, that's so dumb. Hey, we're freaking gods here, okay? Yeah. Hey boys. Um, you wanna see some real power? Whoa. Oh my god. What on earth? What? what? Whoa. Whoa. That's amazing. Is she gone? She's more powerful than us. That's, wow. that's, that's pretty scary. Um, that's pretty neat. The Enigma strikes again, leaving a trail of confusion and chaos wherever she goes. Oh, <gasps> wait. I have an idea. Why would I test this death trap myself? when I could trick someone else into doing it for me. <laughs> oh, hey, Joel. Oh, hey, Lizzie. How would you like to try out the new and improved Ender Rail? Whoa, boy, I would love to. I've not even tried this one out yet, so I'd pretty much prefer the new one. Well, why don't you go ahead? I'll be right behind you. <clears throat> but what you don't know is that I'll also be behind your death. Here he goes. It's working just as I intended. Now the moment of truth. <laughs> it's perfect. 
Well, 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 if it isn't the God of Thunder. Wait, what's going on? Why am I stuck on this never-ending loop of rail? You're trapped in my trap. <laughs> wait, this is a trap? How is this a trap? Oh, wait, I can't get down. Yep, that is the trap part of the trap. You seem pretty powerless for a god. Wait. <gasps> You may have escaped the minecart, but you'll never escape the trap. I'm now going to... Oh my god, I nearly walked off here backwards. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I will now leave you to your fate. Just like every good supervillain, I won't be sticking around to watch your demise. Obviously, I have more important things to do. Goodbye, Joel.